Cebu City Traffic Why is it a perennial problem? Over the years, traffic congestion has plagued Cebu City, prompting various attempts at solutions. But what truly lies at the heart of this seemingly never-ending traffic problem? Yes, uh, first and major reason ngan ng traffic ang Cebu City it's of our narrow roads onya ang nagkadaghana nga uh, daghana nga numbers sa mga vehicles from the private cars to kaning motorcycles. In 2018, LDO7 reported a surge of 21.85% in registered cars in Cebu City alone since 2013. A 2017 JICA study revealed that privately owned cars accounted for 22% of the city's traffic volume. In general, I should say manageable. Manageable good siya. Mahalag mo ingon silang uh, hambugira ko, pero for me, once reported, once ma, ma kitan lang uh, adunay congestion, padalhan na to og special force, then uh, in less than 30 minutes, ma manage siya yun nato ang traffic. Undisciplined drivers contribute significantly to congestion with a disregard for traffic rules just to meet their daily quotas. According to Francisco Uano, the head of CCTO in 2018, the traffic problems on Cebu City's roads will never end unless drivers follow traffic rules. Usa sa factor nga nakakontribute ang ato ang mga way discipline ng mga drivers. To address these challenges, Raquel Arce proposes an intensified enforcement strategy focusing on citation tickets and legal consequences for offenders. By that, intensify na itong enforcement, then ato da yung isanction ang dili makasettle to filing a case, harun magtimaan ang atong mga drivers. The proposed minimum penalty is 500 to 1,000 pesos with a strict three-day settlement window. Sakit man para sa mga drivers, but we have to we have to do this to discipline you. Specifically identifying the Banila Talamban route as a bottleneck, Arce attributes it to narrow roads and the concentration of schools in Talamban. So unsa may imo hang ikasuggest ka ha nga ato as a driver nga solution sa to ang traffic. Amorag sa kung pamino, amorag wanay ka sulbaran kay. Nana, may sagot, kuradlaw. Aguanta, aguanta lang kita. Mas maayo siguro na ay diversion road from Kabangkalan going to ano, to Talambad proper, ano, pero like, lisod naman, kaya dagan na og balay-balay ba. In 2022, Mayor Michael Rama outlined immediate steps to alleviate traffic, including road opening and other measures. In 2023, gas stations are slated to become loading and unloading points for public utility chimneys. In conclusion, addressing Cebu City's traffic challenges requires a multifaceted approach. The proposed strategies aim to not only manage existing congestion, but also lay the groundwork for a more sustainable and organized traffic system in the future.